new hub for cutting-edge research and training, the Center for Advanced Training and Innovation Research, with access to state-of-the-art laboratories. The new lab and our equipment will also be open to innovators to develop new tests and conduct research on diseases that are affecting South Africa and the region. It will help local researchers better understand, tackle, and address healthcare challenges specific to the region's needs. This milestone was achieved through a partnership between Thermo Fisher Scientific, the South African Medical Research Council, and the Department of Science, Technology, and Innovation. As trainers, our focus is simple. We want to equip researchers, particularly postgraduate students, with practical, technical, and professional skills they need to excel. The curriculum will be specifically designed to upskill these young scientists. We call it our fundamentals module. Here, participants are trained in the essentials of pipetting accuracy, buffer preparation, pH measurement, and core laboratory calculations. These may seem basic, and a lot of us will know them, but they are fundamental and the unsung heroes of reproducible science. The Deputy Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation, Noma Lungelo Gina, emphasized that the center will also play a vital role in skills development and economic growth. A robust and integrated NSI is the key to unlocking South Africa's socio-economic progress, addressing inequality and ensuring that benefits of science and innovation reach reaches all our people. If we are to successfully implement the national health insurance, address our country's quadruple burden of disease, and make universal health coverage a lived reality for every South African, then we must invest in the development of our people to conduct high-impact, homegrown research. Qatar is a key partner in this effort. Moreover, this is about investment in people aimed at transforming the research landscape through broader inclusivity and to close existing gaps in the health research space. Patricia Fasaghe, SBC News, in Pretoria.